Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam. In this beam, there is uniformly distributed load 54 kN per meter. It acts for a distance of 4 meter from the left support. Now from the point B and about the point A, we are going to find the movements and then draw the diagrams. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. RB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. 6 into RB, it will be 6RB and the diagram will be in the shape of a triangle. The uniformly distributed load 54 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2 so that we will get minus 432. The diagram will be in the shape of a second degree parabola. Now let us find the area 1 x1 bar. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle half into bh. Here the breadth is 6 and the height is 6rb. So this is the area. Now we have to find the centroid distance x1 bar. We have to find the centroid distance about the right. The formula is 2 upon 3 into b. Here the breadth is 6. So 2 upon 3 into 6. Now let us find the area 2 x2 bar. We know that this is a second degree parabola. The area formula is 1 by 3 into bh. Here the breadth is 4 and the height is 432. So this is the area. Now let us find x2 bar. For this parabola, the centroid distance about the right is 3 upon 4 into breadth. Here the breadth is 4. So 3 upon 4 into 4. Also we have to add the remaining distance which is 2. So 3 upon 4 into 4 plus 2. For area 2 x bar 2 we will get 2880. We know that area 1 x1 bar will be equal to area 2 x2 bar. We have found both of them. Let us apply them. Finally for RB we will get 40 kN. Now let us apply the rule. Sigma V is equal to 0 and find RA. Now from the point B, let us take a movement about A and find the movement MA. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 40 into 6. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and the distance by 2. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive. For MA we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct. It is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now using the right hand side rule, we can find the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point the shear force becomes 0. In this point there will be maximum positive bending movement. Let us make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that in that point I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. We know that the shear force in this section is 0. Using that concept we can find x. Now let us find the maximum positive bending moment. Here we can use right hand side rule. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and this is the distance. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply the distance and then the distance by 2. For the maximum positive bending moment we will get 
94.81. Now let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. To find the bending moment at C, we can use the left hand side rule. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. For bending moment at C, we will get 40. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point, the bending moment becomes 0. This is the point of contraflexure. Let us make a section in this point and find the distance. You can see that in that point, I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. By using right hand side rule, we can find the moment in the section. We know that it is 0. Using that concept, we can find x. For x, there will be two values, but this value is not applicable. So x is 1.38 meter. Let us apply that. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.